GPU Mining Rig for Beginners Welcome back to the Master Tech Crypto Channel, your source for free education on crypto investing, trading, and mining. Be sure to check the description for links to our forums, where you can connect with fellow crypto addicts and get all your questions answered. Oh, and of course, like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a Master Tech Crypto video. Today we're going to cover getting you on the path to financial freedom through crypto mining, Cryptocurrency investing and crypto trading can be high risk, while returns on your money have the potential to be astronomical. The truth is, most crypto investors succumb to the volatility of the market and lose 30% or more. This is why crypto mining is the best strategy for beginners to get into the cryptocurrency market. Specifically, GPU mining provides a low price barrier to enter, can be done at home, and is mathematically affirmed over time to return profits. Now you might be thinking, I don't have any technical skills, or I can barely turn on a computer. There's no way I can build a GPU mining rig. If you can put a plug into an electrical outlet, you can do this. For everything else, you have the Master Tech Crypto Channel and all our free resources and communities to help you succeed on your crypto mining journey. Let's get started. A GPU mining rig consists of eight basic components. All of these components are listed on our website, so you can research who has the best prices and where the items are in stock. Number one, a frame or housing. Number two, motherboard. Number three, CPU. Number four, RAM. Number five, risers. Number six, storage drive. Number seven, power supply. And number eight, GPUs. Outside of these eight GPU mining rig components, you'll need a 240 volt, 30 amp safe electrical outlet with PDU and internet connection. Frames. There are three traditional ways to house your rig. You can buy an open air frame, build your own frame, or use a server case. Most newbies opt to buy an open air frame. They're easy to assemble in 10 minutes, come with all the hardware, and only require a Phillips head screwdriver. Many companies make them. Visit our website to see what's available in the marketplace and to choose the best value for your build. And if you're handy, you may opt to save a few dollars and build your own. The final option is to purchase a server case. These appear expensive on the surface. However, the cases come pre-built with all the items except the GPUs already installed and ready to go. Simply plug in your GPUs and you'll be mining. This is a fantastic option as you grow your home mining farm. While beginners can certainly take advantage of this pre-built system, it will inhibit your knowledge of how all the pieces are assembled, integrated, and work as an autonomous unit together. Should you run into an issue, not having this knowledge of constructing from the ground up may prove problematic when diagnosing and fixing your rig. Watch our video on building a GPU test bench for more on this before you decide on open air versus server case. Also, check out the Octominer X12 Ultra on our website. We believe this is an outstanding server case for the money. Motherboard. There's quite a bit of crossover between the gaming community and the mining community. We've seen plenty of angry gamers over the last few years, as miners have overtaken the GPU market, causing ridiculous inflated prices. Motherboards are another area where crossover occurs. Thankfully, there are plenty of mining-specific motherboards available. The biggest decision will come down to PCIe slots. The number of slots on the motherboard will determine how many GPUs you can run off it. If you're going to run a rig with 6 GPUs, then you'll need a mining motherboard with a minimum of 6 PCIe slots. A best practice here is to buy a motherboard with additional PCIe slots than what you're building. The cost difference is pennies, but the option of upgrading to a bigger rig or switching a GPU from a bad slot will always outweigh the cost of having to buy another motherboard. CPU Choosing a CPU is straightforward. After you've selected a motherboard, the spec sheet will list compatible CPUs to run on it. The Intel Celeron brand runs on almost all motherboards and is the most popular pick amongst miners. It's inexpensive, gets the job done, and will give you years of mining. RAM Another easy selection and widely available component is RAM. The amount of memory you'll need comes down to your choice of software. Windows or Hive OS to run your GPU rig. Windows will require more memory to run efficiently. A best practice here is to just buy 8 gigabytes and you'll be covered with whichever you choose. Check the motherboard specs to confirm if the memory slot is DDR3 or DDR4. Risers. Let's get our geek on. The riser is a miner's best friend. It's comprised of two major parts, the riser itself and a PCI Express card. These are linked together via a USB cable. The riser plugs into your GPU and the PCI Express card goes into an available PCI Express slot on the motherboard. Genius! Not all risers are created equal. Check our website and speak with the community members on sure bets for quality proven risers. 
Storage Drive, SSD. A solid state drive will hold your mining operating system and extras you may need. There are many choices on the market for SSDs. To keep it simple, get yourself a 120 gigabyte SSD. A SanDisk or Kingston are the most popular amongst miners. You'll also need a SATA to USB cable to transfer between your computer and the drive. Power Supply. We could focus daily content every day for years on this one topic. 90% of it would be on safety. It's important to understand here, we're speaking about the power supply needed for the hardware on your rig, and not the power supply needed from your home to operate the rig. The components you choose will dictate the power supply size you need. We always run at 80% capacity, so if your rig is calling for 800 watts, you'll need a 1000 watt power supply. Even better would be a 1200 watt PCU, leaving you with room to upgrade in the future. It's also very important to use high quality cables and connectors from reliable and proven companies. GPU's Graphics Processing Unit. This is where the largest portion of your budget should focus. Quality over quantity is going to be the name of this game. You'd rather have three high-performing GPUs than six mediocre ones. Remember, these are your autonomous workers making you money around the clock. You want to hire the best performing and most efficient employees. You might be familiar with the 80-20 rule of business in the real world. That's 20% of the workforce completes 80% of the work, while the large majority of the 80% only account for 20% of the work completed. In the autonomous world, we ditch the non-performers. You're the business owner, and paying for housing, electricity, and infrastructure for non-performers is a waste of money. This one decision is going to be the difference between miners who generate a booming passive income stream and those who just like to tinker. With the current market saturated and prices sky high, it may take you a while to accumulate quality cards. That's okay. Time is on your side. Just like crypto investing, you can dollar cost average down your GPU rig as prices adjust. In the description is a link to our website, where we run scripts for all the in-stock GPUs. Not only is cryptocurrency mining a super fun hobby filled with communities of helpful miners, but it's a great path to financial freedom. Is it one of those things that are too good to be true? Maybe. The truth is, crypto mining is the best financial secret of our time. Crypto in general is just waking up and catching on as a transactional monetary method. At the time of this video, just 3% of the world owns some form of crypto. And us miners creating this, well, we only account for 0.00002% of the population. So maybe it is too good to be true that you clicked on this video and saw the possibilities before 99.99% .99 of the rest of the world got in. If you haven't already, Maybe you should click that subscribe button and go down into the description and join one of our free communities to continue your education on financial freedom through crypto mining. We'll catch you in the next video.